guys, it's Nanette with Heart Baby Home. Today we're going to be looking at heart number 29, which is Tetralogy of Fallot with Dorv, TGA, and a hypoplastic arch. So the first thing we're going to talk about is that Tetralogy of Fallot, which is a combination of four specific heart defects. The first one is a large VSD, or ventricular septal defect, that's a big hole in the wall that separates the two ventricles. The second one is an enlarged aorta that sits directly above that VSD. Um, and the door in this one pushes it over a little bit. The third defect is pulmonary stenosis. And that's where the pulmonary artery is narrow down right next to the valve. And the fourth one is right ventricular hypertrophy. Now hyper means extra or excessive and trophy means growth. So hypertrophy, it's when the heart is working too hard, that right ventricle, the muscle is working too hard and just like any other muscle when it's working too hard, then it gets bigger. And this is not necessarily a good thing for your heart. Mostly it means that your heart is uh, going to wear out faster. I also see double outlet right ventricle. And that's where both the aorta and the pulmonary artery come out of the right ventricle. If you look over in the normal heart, the aorta is supposed to come out of the left ventricle. And the pulmonary artery is supposed to come out of the right ventricle. I also see a hypoplastic aortic arch um, and that's just right at the top of the aorta on that arch it's underdeveloped so that means that less blood will get out to the body uh, so that's not good and then transposition of the great arteries TGA that's where the aorta and the pulmonary artery are switched so the pulmonary artery is closer to the left ventricle which usually has oxygen rich blood in it and the aorta is closer to the right ventricle which usually has oxygen poor blood in it and then we've already talked about the VSD so that is everything for heart number 29 I hope it was helpful to see the heart side by side if you appreciate this video or would like to see more videos similar to this one, please click on my subscribe button below. That directly helps me and I'm able to spend more time working on the hearts. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at www.heartbabyhome.com slash contact. That is the place I look at the most. And if you have any new hearts that you would like me to draw, a heart that is not yet on my website and um, that is also the best place to contact me I'm always available to draw hearts I'm also available on Twitter Pinterest and Facebook and if you have any questions please contact me I am here and I can help and I can also get you in touch with support groups or other people who understand um, what it is that you're going through uh, so please contact me. Thank you so much. Uh, sus subscribe. Look for more videos. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.